hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl antoinette if this is your first time you are welcome thank you so much for joining me today um don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you leave and also hit that thumbs up button if you like what i'm about to share with you and if you have been here before and you are you know a returning guest welcome back i got some gist for you okay that's it let's jump right into it don't okay i might sound a little bit hoarse right now is because i have um let's just say i have covid yeah so i'm i'm currently isolated i am good i am fine i just have i'm currently coughing a lot sneezing a lot and also um i have this headache as well that will not go away and i find it hard to sleep through the night because my throat sometimes like it feels like it's closing up and this is actually day four or day three with the symptoms of covid but anyway that is not why i'm here today i am here today to tell you how i spend my new years all right are you still here <laughs> Let me get comfortable. Okay. So anybody who has seen my previous post, um, my previous post. If you haven't seen my previous post, when you don't, when you finish watching this video, just go ahead and and click on the the video before this. Okay. All right. So New Year's Eve evening, I think it was. Um, I was scrolling on Instagram when I saw a, a post Shanil Mir made that it didn't say anything. It said, um, I think what caught my eyes was the location of the post and the location of the post was Toronto, Canada. And I'm like, Shanil is in Toronto, New Year's Eve, like what are the odds? Is there something going on that I don't know about? So, upon further in investigation, I realized that she was performing at a show in Toronto. The f like in, I didn't know what time the show was, but I know that it was supposed to be the following the 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 same night. Okay, this was about five thirty in the evening. I saw that. And I'm like, first I saw it, and I was like, I commented under the post. And then then after I started doing my investigations, I realized why she was here. Um, so I started texting my friends. And I'm like, shit, Jenny Amir is in, in you know, Toronto. Like, what are we doing? Like, I started losing my shit. My head was hurting. I was like, this cannot miss me. Like, this is the closest um she has ever come to me. Like, I can't miss this. Like... For all of you who know me, you know that I'm a big Shania fan. Like, you know, song that she sings that I do not know the words. Like, if I'm driving, she has to be playing in my car. Like, yeah. I'm not somebody who will be sitting on Instagram every single day. But when I do go on Instagram, yeah, she would be one of the persons that I check up on. Oh my God, this thing is in my... Oh. This here, this one here is just tickling my nose, though. What the fuck is going on? Ugh. Anyways. Comment if you want to know what's in my cup. I want to tell you, but just comment and I'll tell you what's in my cup. Alright. 
what else yeah so i started texting them and be like oh what's what, what what are we doing i was like to my husband like what am i like what are we doing are you taking me or is they are they taking me i don't know is somebody taking me like somebody is taking me or i'm taking myself i don't know what i'm going bear in mind i do not know where the show is i don't know how much to go in i don't know what time it is i don't even know if it's in toronto or if it's around the area i don't know what's happening so i messaged them and they're like oh i don't have we don't have any money and stuff. like i don't have any money either I'm like okay i understand so now i'm trying to go back to what i was doing which is watching a movie and minding my own business when they message me like you don't understand i mean we want to go i started losing my shit i was like shit what am i going to wear like this is New Year's Eve. Like, what am I even going to wear? I do not have anything to wear. My New Year's Eve plan was to stay inside, watch movies, and oh my god, my voice sounds. I hope you are hearing everything that I'm saying, though. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So I'm like, I got up out of the sofa, and I was going through my closet, and I'm like, oh my god, I have nothing. Like, literally nothing to wear that was beside my point because i was going any anyway i was going and like no matter what i had to put on i was going <laughs> so they they messaged me back and they they found the post where it told them where it was it was actually um, the post said toronto still but on further investigation and calculations we realized that it wasn't definitely toronto it was, it was actually brompton which is much closer to us. At this time, it was like 6.30 in the evening. She, they told me that she was going on, or the show was from 8 to 12. In Canada, when you get a show time, it's not like the same in Jamaica. Like when you get it, it's like 8 to 12. It's actually 8 to 12, and plus it's COVID. So they're like, okay. This is 6.30. I live an hour and a half away from Toronto. Like, I need to shower. I need to find something to put on. And at least, and we don't live the same place either. They live like 20 minutes from me. So they would have to come and pick me up and then drive back to Toronto. But we weren't worried about the technicalities. So we just knew that we had to be there regardless of what we had to do. This is Shani Muir you were talking about last minute or no last minute i'm i'm going to be there and i was very excited no them said don't put on any makeup because you know you take a long time to get dressed and stuff i put my face on still because i know them take long to get dressed too just like i do yes i was there ready and waiting for them by the time they came to pick me up it was it was like 11 o'clock. <laughs> it was something after 11, I think, or something to 10. I don't even know. But all I knew is that it's going to take an hour and a half drive to get there. And they weren't here yet. So I was like, I was low key freaking out. But because I knew that I was going, that we were going. And this is a Jamaican thing. Jamaican people are I'm always late. If them said a party start 12 o'clock. People coming in at two and four and five. Yes. That's this is maybe it's a black people thing. Maybe it's not only Jamaicans that do it, it's just general black population that does it. Yes. But in Jamaica we call it Jamaican time, right? Yes. So they pick us up, they pick me up and then we you know we headed out to Toronto. And for the, um, what should I say, observe observations or observe what the fuck, whatever, and investigating our, in what the hell am I trying to say? Uh, okay. Fucking COVID. On further observation, I realized that my friend went to pick up another friend that was the opposite way from Toronto. So they left their house, gone 
pick up that friend came back my side and then we went to oh, Toronto. that's why i was you know that's why they were late we got there no halfway halfway there we realized that the address it was um something gateway the place was gateway something something but we found out that it there's two gateways one in toronto one in brampton toronto <laughs> i keep saying toronto but it's toronto but whatever fuck it um and we went also in brampton my friend pulled over to figure out which address she was going. By the time she pulled over, me vexed because I'm thinking, like, we already late and you would pull over just to check out our address. Meanwhile, yeah, driver, we can't check it out while you're driving. So I'm like, just drive, I'll search, I'll figure it out. So I ended up calling the booking company or the booking people or whoever put on the show and they said it was in Brampton. So it ended up that we saved 30 minutes because it wasn't Toronto, it was Brampton. That was the first hiccup. No, that was the second hiccup, right? The first hiccup was we were late and it was appointed time. The second hiccup was the address. Finding out the proper address was the was the um the second hiccup. So okay. So now we get to the venue, okay? Third hiccup. <laughs> now this is where my story gets interesting get there finally find a parking space okay when we pull into the parking lot when we saw when we saw we started seeing a lot of very very well put together ladies a lot of sparkles a lot of heels a lot of gowns and i am there thinking i'm in this mesh top this leggings and this leather jacket i am underdressed i'm not ready for this like i'm not i'm not in the position to get a photo up with channel like <coughs> excuse me excuse me <coughs> Oy. that's what i'm thinking in my head i'm underdressed i need to go back home because but <laughs> i went through a lot to get there so i was not going to turn around because of outfit damn anyways i look damn good regardless of what i was wearing um so we brave up and come out of the car. Yeah. This was this was this was three, eh? So my friend, her sister and her friend was in the car still. But my friend and I we got up out of the car. Um I put my coat on, I think it was, took my purse up, but because I knew that I was gonna use a debit to pay and even if they asked for an ID that then they're asking for nowadays when you're going into a venue they ask you for your id and your proof of vaccination so i thought that that's what was going to happen so i took my id out ahead of time also with my debit card because like i said this was opposite time so we had no no time to get cash or anything like that walking over to the lineup section when we drive, no man, first, <laughs> when we drive in, number three was we couldn't find a no parking space. Number three would have to be to find, if we couldn't find a parking space. Then the number four would have been all the ladies that were dressed for ballroom. All right, we're going to number five now, all the hiccups that happen. Number five, my friend and I, we started walking over to the car. Right, we left the other two in the car. In the car, and we—it was four of us. Two of us started walking. I was, I was putting my face mask on, and we were talking about something. You know, now I mean, you know how everybody just just up in a sparkles and look so nice and stuff, and we just in a you know, <laughs> like boots and leggings and leather jacket and stuff. We were talking about all of that and putting on my face mask at the same time. I had a bunch of stuff in my hand just to 
reach to the line and to realize that I couldn't find my card or my driver's license. My driver's license and my debit card was lost on my way over to the line. So between the line and the car, my driver's license and my debit card got misplaced, thrown away. I don't know, in the heat of the moment, I fucking threw my driver's license and my debit card away. So I went back to search for it and I've yet, I didn't find it. My friend was willing to pay. So that was number five. I lost my identification and my debit. So in that mind, in that, in that, in that frame of time or in that moment, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, um, people using my card, you know, to go in are you using my card to get money off of it are people using my identification to steal my identity identification fraud or what they call it um correct me in the comment section what i'm trying to say yeah uh, yeah so in that time i'm thinking about all of that i'm trying to make it as quick as possible forgive me i'm slow don't forget to subscribe Mm -hmm. what the fuck should i cut it could i should i cut it short and tell you guys to comment and tell me if you want to hear the rest of the story should i but let me let me give you number six first my friend all right losing my card losing my debit was beside the point even though it was a big deal it's a big deal it's four of us, so obviously somebody can pay for me. And then we figure out the, the, the ID later. But I didn't know how I, it was my first time losing my, my driver's license, so I don't know how to go about it. My friend stayed in the line, got to the front to buy the tickets. I went to search for the card and I came back to the front of the line where she was trying to purchase a ticket. Then we found out that the place where they must sell the ticket was just like a bus and then put a plastic bag, black, ladder bag, black, garbage bag over all of the window there. All, all of the window them. And people just uh, push their money through a little hole and then people then push the ticket through the little hole. That was how they were selling the tickets to get inside. For who never have tickets already for buying it prior. Whoever didn't know about it before we know about it. Pushing the money through a little hole and the, the ticket come back through a little hole. So my friend's like, you can't push my cat through a little hole. Like, I mean, I don't know who in the hour I'm going to get it back. So I said, just ask them. Uh, she, she knocked the glass and put her ears to the glass and like, oh guys, you, you guys take card. They said, no nobody no one in my group bought cash and it seems like i was the only one that walked with a debit card at the time because they only have them credit card and just pick up a credit card and say yeah we are going to show her i don't know everything was appointed time so i understand say right probably not have cash at hand you understand but we use credit card for most of everything. Even if you have cash, you use credit card. It's just it's just how it is over here. Anyways, that was a feel. We go back to the car now, saying that we're going to drive, but look for an ATM where we can get some money. Then some some confusion happened in the car because. When you get we got to the ATM, um my friend and her sister was discussing that. I say, so so with the car they were gonna get the cash. And then they realized that none of them not have no debit. <laughs> the 
Oh my god! Marco, note, Shania Mary is less than 10 feet away from me and Mount a hiccup I am going through just to see her like and all me a try and all me a go all me a go hard and go up and beyond to see this lady the atmosphere keeps throwing stuff at me this is New Year's Eve night I spent my New Year's when people say Happy New Year me I say well <laughs> At 12 o'clock, it's neither here nor there. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know. If, yeah, at that point, we just say, you know, we just go get food, get something to eat, and then head home or something, or find somewhere else to go or something, because this not work out. Them only taking cash, or them only taking cash for the tickets. And it seems like anybody want to do cash, but with a card. I don't know why, but if I... <laughs> Maybe I would have done the cash part with the, the credit. Just the same. Like, I don't really give a fuck, but... Not yes. my card. And I did have credit cards on me, too. It's just that, I don't know. I was so worried about my card and my um, debit. So what, hap what had happened was... Do you want to hear the rest of the story? Comment below, let me know if you want to hear the rest of the story. And I'll tell you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, subscribe, and comment down below so that I can tell you the rest of the story. I want to drop the, the other part of the story today, 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 today. So comment, let me know what's going on. You want to know? Do you want to know?